the IAEA Director General has updated member states on its trip to Iran on September 12th to discuss the agency's safeguard monitoring and surveillance equipment. For me, what was important was to address what I defined as a communication breakdown, and which was very serious in particular in view of the necessity for us to service some of our equipment. The efforts were worthwhile because we were able to have a constructive um, outcome. We uh, have agreed that we are going to be having the necessary access to all this equipment, and this is going to be starting in very few days. With this measure that needed, as I said in the reports, uh, immediate rectification, rectification is going to happen. And in so doing, we are going to be uh, preserving the continuity of knowledge, which is indispensable. This continuity of knowledge would be necessary for the agency to resume its verification and monitoring of Iran's nuclear-related commitments in the future. Of course, uh, we uh, have a, a number of outstanding issues that need to be dealt with. Uh, we have a way forward. Um, the um, new uh, head of the Atomic Energy Agency of uh, Iran um, has confirmed that he, was, he will be visiting me here in Vienna and thereafter I will be returning to Tehran to much needed high level um, meetings with the government. The Director General also told the Board about the agency's rapid assistance to member states in response to natural disasters, for example, by sending mobile X-ray units to Haiti after the recent earthquake, or by fighting a disease outbreak in banana crops in South America. Mr. Grossi also spoke about plans to showcase how nuclear science and technology can help with climate change mitigation and adaptation at the upcoming COP26 conference in Glasgow. We continue our preparations for COP26, uh, where the voice of uh, nuclear energy and what nuclear energy can do for uh, the global decarbonization will be heard together with other voices.